To find out how important Broca's area is to speech, I've come to meet neuroscientist Dr. Joe Devlin from University College London. Joe, thanks a million for letting me experiment on you today. I'm glad you're here. Good stuff. Now, first of all, how does this equipment work? So the kit behind me is called a transcranial magnetic stimulation device, or TMS. And basically, it's a strong electromagnet. You're going to use the magnetic field to scramble the neural signals that are sending control messages to the muscles that are producing the speech. So effectively, you're going to scramble the speech that I produce. So essentially, this is going to show that Broca's area is absolutely vital for speech. Where exactly is it located in our heads? So Broca's area is just on the left, and it's a little bit above and behind the eye. Excellent. I can't wait to do this. Can we get started? You bet. Good. To locate Joe's Broca's area, we take some quick measurements of his brain, and when the black dot hits the center of the cross, it means we've isolated it. So I'll start counting backwards, and when okay. you're ready, you trigger it. Go for it. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. So you did it. That was speech that arrest. That is the most incredible thing I think I've ever seen. That's your Broca's area scrambling up because of the magnetic pulses that we're sending from this tool. Can we do it again? Of course. Yeah, no Brilliant. problem. <laughs> 47, 46, 45, 44, 43. Thankfully, 43. Joe's brain is not scrambled permanently as this experiment is harmless. By using powerful magnetic pulses to disrupt the workings of Joe's Broca's area, we've temporarily shut down the language region that allows us to form words. 44, 43.